lot of the work, especially, you know, this past year and a half has been very personal, just looking at, or kind of like, uh, uh, just inner, inner reflection. Uh, so a lot of the animals that are here are, are more of, a, of metaphors you know, to, to how humans behave, to how, uh, you know, I, I see myself or, or I behave and stuff. The okay. little the chihuahua is kind of like a, a, a chico uh, depiction, like the the chihuahuas. It's got the little scar and uh, you know, the spikes and the, the I guess the the torn ears and stuff like uh, because they, they were, mascot wanted to depict like a uh, you know little chihuahua that's big in fights and, and sort of uh, uh, kind of like uh, how do you call it scrappy. So that's what I wanted to depict. And, and I think, you know, as, as the El Paso people, I think we kind of are, we're always, or not always, but for the most part, the underdogs. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I like that, you know, I like always being the under, underdog and, and just succeeding without, you know, without people or, you know, sometimes people thinking that you won't, you know, that, that to me, that's very gratifying. The Statue of Liberty is, is what I call a refrito uh, because I, I did a similar image when I was in uh, in undergraduate school, um, where you know the this is called entre la entre la libertad y la muerte, talking about you know immigrants or Latinos in the U.S. where you find yourself you know being um, you know I guess in, in the hands of, of this motherly figure, which is the Statue of Liberty or the U.S. and you could either find you know libertad or you can find death, you know. With, you know, through work, with you know, all the things that, that we go through, uh, our experiences here in the U.S. It's a baby like luchador, or like you know, kind of like a again like a representation of like Latinos. I think it's it's kind of like finding that it's not necessarily dying. I think it's being uh, nurtured by you know by this this figure, this motherly figure. Uh, but at the same time, like it's a lot. You know, it's like giving him too much or a lot, and he's like kind of like. Uh, I guess overwhelmed. I, I did that one after uh, after the Walmart shootings. Uh, so it's called Ponte Trucha uh, because it's the like the lagarto, you know, the representation of, of who you know El Paso. When you have evil, it's kind of holding evil and stepping on it. So you know, be aware of um, of society. Be aware of, of what people what people do to you, and, and just be alert. You know, La Calavera. That one is, uh, it's called Quiero Charrar con la Muerte, and it's uh, based on a song uh, by, you know, Pimpillo Palma, or, or I don't know if he, he's the one that, that actually uh, wrote it, but I, but I heard it, you know, for the first time with, with his, uh, or, or his interpretation, and, and it brought, you know, a lot of, of things, you know, reflections of death, reflections of getting older, uh, seeing yourself in the mirror, and it's like, oh man, you know, I have gray hair, it's like, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not a youngster anymore. You have all this experience, but at the same time, you're getting older, and at some point, you know, you know, la calaca or la flaca is gonna come and get you.